I'm sure at some point you will have experienced a side stitch in your triathlon career. Now I've got some pretty nasty memories from childhood right up until last year when this happened. At the run, frustrating. I like, absolutely loved it. Like, I was flying the last few miles, but I just keep getting a stitch and I literally, I just had to like hold my stomach and try and like make the pain worse with my fingernails than it was in my stitch. Why do we get this annoying side pain? And more importantly, how do we solve it and prevent it returning in the future? Well, in this video, we're going to be finding out. a stitch well in the medical world it's often referred to as exercise related transient abdominal pain ETAP but you've probably more likely heard the term used as side stitch side cramp side pain and apparently even a sticker anyway enough of the terminology for simplicity's sake in this video I'm going to refer to this pain in your side as a stitch Okay, now we know what a stitch is, but what is it that causes this performance limiting pain? There's so many theories out there. It could be anything from eating and drinking too much, doing too many sit-ups, riding a bike in a poor position, or even having a lopsided running gait. But one thing they do all have in common is the diaphragm, and it's thought that a reduced blood flow to the diaphragm can cause this pain. Another theory could be the ligaments from the internal organs that pull on your diaphragm. But more importantly, we want to know how to prevent this pain. So I think it's time we went and spoke to the experts. I'm going to start with nutrition. Take it away, Fiona. Hi, my name is Fiona Lathander and I'm the sports nutritionist at Team Bath. So a stitch is an abdominal pain that many athletes get at some point during their training or their competition. Some athletes are able to run through it and other athletes are, are not able to and it can cause quite a bit of discomfort. First of all, allow two to three hours um, between eating and the start gun, and that will allow the food to empty from your stomach and prevent it from bouncing around. Second of all, be well hydrated before the, the start of the event. And during the event, um, if you want to take in fluid and food, just take small, frequent portions of those to prevent the stomach expanding too much and causing, potentially causing a stitch. And the third one, avoiding highly concentrated drinks such as fruit juice and fizzy drinks because they may take longer to empty from the stomach. Well, taking smaller meals is definitely a good bit of advice and something I'm going to experiment with as well as how long before my training I should eat. And the same goes with nutrition actually during my training. I know I'm guilty of not practicing enough of my race day nutrition when it comes to training. And the same goes for the drinks. And in Kona, I know I did take a couple of the fizzy colas and that's something that my stomach's probably not used to. So a lot more of practicing for race day prep in training, I think. Well, that's hopefully nutrition covered and sorted. Well, now we need to address the musculoskeletal lethal side so I think it's time we got some expert advice here's Barry. My name is Barry Edwards I'm a senior sports physiotherapist at uh, the University of Bath. One um, if it comes on squeeze your side uh, as this has been shown to be a good preventative measure. Secondly if that's not working then slow down your running pace control your breathing and see if that helps. The final thing to do is to stop altogether stretch um, either by lifting the arm up over the head and bending um, to one side or bending forward and reaching to the floor, touch your toes and see if that helps. Well, thanks for those, Barry. I have to admit, I've actually tried all of them before, but next time, if I get a stitch, I'm going to have another go at that stretching one. There's still no denying that a stitch is one of the most annoying pains and it's so frustrating as there's no hard and fast rule as to why or when you get one, but at least following some of these tips, you should be able to reduce or eliminate any symptoms in the future. Now, if you want some more videos from GTN, just click on the globe to subscribe. And if you want to see more from that vlog in Kona, well, that's just here. And if you want some ideas for key stretches of the video on that right here.